fractions and polynomials look like this. The numerator has more than one term. And what this means is that this numerator is all being divided by the denominator. Giant fractions can be tricky, especially when they have a minus sign before them, because you can make sign errors because of them. The minus sign will affect the entire fraction. I have a technique that makes it easy to avoid mistakes with giant fractions. You write the answer to the division in a bracket, and then remove the bracket as a separate step. In this question, we have 6x plus 3x squared minus 5x over x. I write 6x plus, and I put a bracket. And then I put the answer to the division inside the bracket. 3x squared divided by x is 3x. Minus 5x divided by x is minus 5. I remove the bracket as a separate step, but this time, because there was a plus sign before it, nothing is changing on the inside. And then I combine my similar terms and give my final answer. 6x plus 3x is 9x minus 5 is the answer. This was unnecessary because we had a plus sign before the bracket. But it will become necessary when we have a minus sign before the bracket, like we do in this example over here. I put 4x minus, and then I put a bracket big enough to contain the answer to the division. 6x cubed divided by 2 is 3x cubed. Minus 8x squared divided by 2 is minus 4x squared. Minus 14x divided by 2 is minus 7x. Then I remove the bracket as a separate step. And I have 4x minus 3x cubed. Minus minus means plus 4x squared. Minus minus means plus 7x. Now I just have to combine similar terms and give my final answer. 4x plus 7x is 11x. I have minus 3x cubed plus 4x squared. In this example, I have negative 6x squared minus a giant fraction, which is 12x to the 4 plus 9x cubed plus 15x squared, all being divided by 3x squared. I'll write my minus 6x squared and this minus sign, and then put a big bracket big enough to contain the answer to the division. 12x to the 4 divided by 3x squared is equal to 4x squared. 9x cubed divided by 3x squared is equal to 3x. 15x squared divided by 3x squared is equal to 5. Now, remove the bracket and fix the signs. Minus 6x squared minus 4x squared. Minus plus means minus 3x. Minus plus means minus 5. Combining similar terms, I can give my final answer. Minus 6x squared minus 4x squared is equal to minus 10x squared. There's only one x term, which is minus 3x. And there's only one constant term, which is minus 5. There's my final answer. This is a trick that allows you to avoid mistakes whenever you have to deal with a giant fraction while doing a larger polynomials question.